Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, and this is Yishian, a deck builder auto battler that I am very excited to be checking out here today. Probably best understood if I said it's a good combination between Super Auto Pets and Slay the Spire, which is music to my ears, because instead of building out a team, we're going to be kind of building out a ideal turn in a roguelike deck builder that is going to go against other people's ideal turn in a roguelike deck builder. Kind of. It's probably the best way of explaining it here. So I did do the tutorial already ahead of time since we're going to be going in to a PvP match. I don't know if there's going to be timers or what, but uh, I know there's other characters and everything, but I'm just going to play what I think is just the starter character, the one you have unlocked at the base. Uh, but in, we are going to go to give it a play. I'll unpause when we're in a match. All right, here we go in with the crew. So basically, we do have a timer here, but the way it works is we are going to need to generate, you know, potentially mana or not, depending on uh, if we need it to cast the card in the upper left there. Uh, so chi is how we do that. This does four damage and then gives us one chi. So then we can cast a spell that does cost chi so that is what we'll do here so we'll go for four attack add a chi so we can cast this much better one however you can also in typical auto battler fashion drag to upgrade bing bang boom making them a little bit stronger now that's kind of the basics we can also drag them over to the right in the bottom right to basically re-roll it into a different card or we can drag it to the left to kind of turn it into experience is probably the best way to say it so, okay, they buff themselves up with defense and then damage. I mean, yeah, so Sword Intent is basically a damage buff. I think I am dead? Maybe? Oh my god, it's so freaking close. Unless I could pierce through that, but I can't. Oh, you son of a gun! So basically what they did is they buffed up their next attack by three damage, and then they did a doubled attack. Okay. Choose your side job. Um, so this, I think, is something that kind of influences the type of items that might show up, the type of cards like this. Um, okay, so four attack, sword intent up. So we can kind of just steal what they just did, <laughs> more or less. Uh, and we'll put this a little bit closer to the beginning, since th neither of these cost chi, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so this is a consumable, since it has consumption. I could put it in here, I'd heal for eight, and then it would go away. I am not too worried about it right now. We could try and re-roll it to get one of these cards up here. Or I could trade it in over here to add a cultivation. You gain one cultivation whenever you do that. Or you also get one whenever you upgrade a card. And basically, when you hit maximum cultivation, you will get a choice of a power-up. Uh, basically like a passive item. And then you will go to the next level where you have to then do it again to get another probably stronger power-up. One to eight. So you got you got like an RNG build. This person's got a little bit of RNG up in there that they're relying on. So I'm going to go ahead, attack and buff. I actually think I win this. So we take a little bit of damage to, uh, or they take a little bit of damage to their HP in the upper right. Not that big of a deal that we lost that first one. It really really is not. Um, so Sword Intent gets used up after an attack. Uh, injured, return the Sword Intent used to this to attack. The, okay. So what we could do is attack with this. Five damage. Gain three Sword Intent, which is just three extra damage on this. So this will do 11. No, we need... Oh, God. Okay, well, but we need, uh, we need Chi if we're going to do that. So now we need to change up the order to be like this so bing bang gain this we have two chi we're good there or we could go with uh extra defense extra sword intent instead of one of these what would it be i'll tell you what i'm just gonna hold on to it oh god we could get this up to tier three but i'm not sure we have nine re-rolls left wind sword i'll do that four attack twice instead so I'm going to keep this. Here's our breakthrough. Draw one unrestrained sword. If you don't attack in a turn, add three defense. 
I guess I'll just do this. <laughs> I don't know. So the way characters work is when you get that level up, you get either, uh, you get an option of two. One of them is always the same as it's kind of called like a contingency upgrade, more or less. Oh my God, what the hell are you doing? Here comes my, my nice attack, but it's really not that great. Big smack and it's not good enough unless, oh my God, it's so freaking close. It was so freaking close. I lost four HP, that's okay. Uh, okay, so now we're going to be able to pick, do we want to draw a card right now? Do we think we're gonna get to the next phase? Then we can get this. Uh, injured, so eight damage, and then if we hit them, we get sword intent for every chi we have. I don't know what chase means. Five attack, exhaust chi, each chi consume, add five attack. I'm gonna go with this one. I think that that might actually be kind of good. Uh, let's reroll that for sure. Sword intent up, we'll get this. So we're gonna get four attack, two chi, five attack, three sword intent, five sword intent. This will do 13 damage. Uh, and then refund the five. Okay, sounds good. We have two chi total, so we can't even cast this. I will upgrade that son of a gun. Sword defense, was that something we had? Yeah, that was. Five defense, we're doing actually, we're getting some stuff. Oh God. What am I looking for? I don't know. We can just hold on to the stuff. It's not that big of a deal. So you saw that thing that said cloud hit, potentially. That basically means there's kind of like classes of cards in the game. What the hell are you doing? Gain force of water. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I could probably. Ho I guess I'll hover over this. At the end of your turn, for every stack of force of water, do a damage. Okay. Uh, get wrecked, basically. So cloud hit means if the card before it has cloud hit, uh, cloud sword in the name, it will do an additional effect. Uh, chi plus two next two attacks ignore defense. I could do that like temporarily. I'm gonna say no though. Uh, chi up, sword intent up one. This is, this is getting gnarly. Injured sword intent up by three. I mean, we could do something like that. It's not the worst. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start to get some upgrades, I think. Well, we have a lot that we can dig through. Um, oh, my. Make an additional attack. Spirited sword, chi two. If your chi is greater than two, make an additional two attack two times. That could be good. Let's keep the wind sword. Okay, bing, bang, six attack twice. I was really hoping that would upgrade into attacking three times. That would probably be one of the best things I could truly do, is just get another attack. Because we have three, six, nine sword intent. This is going to do 20 damage. And then that next attack is going to do 30 damage. We got to keep ourselves alive. Attack will not be offset by the opponent's defense by two. Interesting. Okay, here it comes. Here's our wombo moment. Oi, oi! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> it's gnarly. Holy crap. Exchange this, draw a ta talisman card. So if we exchange this, we draw a talisman? If destiny is exhausted, you will be eliminated. Oh, wait, two permanent actual destiny. I'll, I'll do it. That's my, like, HP up there. We got a breakthrough. So this is our character. Cloud hit can be triggered even if there's no cloud hit before. Cultivation plus one at the beginning of battle and one, add one stack of sword intense. Sounds good. So we get a cultivation, one free cultivation at the start of every battle. Defense up by three. Okay, so that's a defensive attack. Also worth noting, the higher your level is, the better the stuff is that you get from exchanging. That is another thing that slowly happens. Draw an unrestrained sword. First, so we also have a passive, I think, because of our character. 
First card change each round does not consume the chance... Uh, what, a charge of exchange card? English was not the first uh, language this game was developed in. Uh, but honestly, as far as, like, on the actual cards themselves, I, I've been totally able to parse what we need here. Okay. Sword intent, that's fine. Are you doing the same thing as me? I think you might be. Yeah, oh, you have the same plan, except I... I'm charging mine up even more. I... Might be fine? Oh, I'm not even getting to my... I didn't even get to my vase. There's a chance I could put it first, but I could die by the time I get to the end if I don't. Gain one stack of increased attack. After using this card, you cannot use this card again in the same battle round. Consumption cards are limited to total. So I think that... like, if you, Here's the thing. If I had this empty, what would happen is it would get filled with a bad attack. Like, an attack that actually just kind of kind of sucks. Chi 2, Defense 2, Sword Intent 2. Interesting. Like, I could drop this, put in that. I think that might be better. I'm looking for, like, sword defense or something. We gotta go fast here. Th oh! Three attacks times three? That's, uh... That's just better than this. It, 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 like, it's less damage, sure, but... Oh, no. Oh, no. Absorb, get three destiny. I don't remember what that's... That's our health. Absorb. Okay, we're fine. We did it. 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 Yeah, three attacks, three attack three times. I don't really care. Basically, it's going to get all of the buffs like crazy from my sword intent. Oh, it's the water spirit guy. If any five elements have been activated, chase. Use the next card in this turn immediately. Oh. Uh-oh. Okay. They're ramping up. But here comes trouble, dude. Welcome to hell. Welcome to hell! <laughs> That's 45 damage. That is 45 damage. Absorb your max HP is increased by one. This is absorbing. Flying Fang Sword. I kind of want to keep these. Your opponent's Chi gets reduced is actually really interesting. Like, we could potentially tank their, um, their mana, more or less, is the way to think about that. So that's buffed up. We got 32 out of 36 cultivation. I think we're going to reach the immortality phase, I think. I think that that's what this is. If we... I don't know if there's a way to look to see what are the order of the phases. We're in the virtuoso phase currently. I don't know if I even want whatever inspiration sword is. We basically chose like a quest. Sorry, this is always the issue with, like, PvP-style games that have, like, timers on them when I'm trying to showcase it. It's like, there's a lot of info in here. Like, I wish I could parse what they were doing here. This person, if I remember correctly, was kind of doing what I was doing. So, basically, my fear here is if they explode me before I get my attack off. Get wrecked. They, they have the same idea, but my... My hit is just more exciting. Uh, eight attack, injured, sword intent up by three. Let's remove this and go for that instead. Absorb, increase your max HP. Absorb, get destiny up by destiny three. I am the I'm at top of the lobby. I'll, I'll tell you what. Sure. Wait. First of all, breakthrough. Draw an Immortality Phase Fortune card. When the next Destiny is exhausted, keep one Destiny and not be eliminated. And add five. Oh, so if I die, don't die. If I lose, don't lose. Once. I don't know what this means, but I'm curious. 
Injured at... Okay, so we got our Inspiration Sword. Exchange, draw a spiritual pet card. What the hell, dude? I'll absorb that. Um, I don't know. How much chi do I really have? That sounds... It sounded better earlier. But now it doesn't quite work with what we have. So I'm like... Oh, I was really hoping that it would, like... <laughs> I don't know. At the very least... Okay, we're not going to get through here. But if we get through here, then we want the health, probably. The next time the HP is less than or equal to zero, revive with 10 HP and add 10 max HP. I'll take that instead. All right. Still waiting on those for upgrades. Ashes of the Phoenix. After using this card... So I kind of... It's a little bit weird to have it be last. But it's better than the heal. It's basically... Tw it's 20 effective health and it stops me from being like... If I'm at like 10 HP and they do like 40 to me, it completely negates it once. Get wrecked. Th this setup is just... It's just fundamentally bonkers. Cloud hit, gain two stacks of increased attack. So increased attack, I think, is just... It's like sword intent, but permanent. Cloud hit, gain two stacks of increased attack. I mean, like, these are not bad things. This is not bad either. This, like, that would be instead of the Ashes of the Phoenix, but I'm going to say nah. Spirited Sword? I don't think that's one of the ones we have. It's not... Earth Evil Sword. Add one defense for each damage dealt. Nah, we're out of there. Unrestrained Sword. Four attack for every... For each unrestrained sword, make an additional attack. Interesting. Not interesting enough. I, I'm really... Wait a minute. I just realized that this... I don't have the mana for this. Shoot. I've been I've been doing nothing with that, huh? Cause we didn't get the we don't get our chi in early, but if I put it right here, then I use up all of my sword intent early. So I've been like I've been wasting a little bit and I've still been destroying everybody. That's sad. <laughs> If I can get, like, a passive that gives me one chi at the start of battle, that'd be great. That'd be great. You're waiting on me. Alright. Is this Water Boy? So they have, like, completely different cards, too. I think there's, like, different factions. Alright. Here it comes. Bump up, whoop. Okay, there was a chance he could have healed up and saved himself there. I don't think that the Ashes of the Phoenix would even save me there, to be honest. So yeah, I feel like I need something else for the beginning. Form Intention Sword is nice. But I now realize how it's not that functional with what we have. Increase my max HP. Why not? Eh. Sword slash. Do we? Do we have that? That was the one we had before. Would I rather do four damage or have four defense? I'll tell you what. I think maybe the four damage for now. Whenever you use Cloud Sword, add two HP. Uh, yeah, Form Intention Sword. Because here's the thing. Like, if we don't kill them with this explosion, we're in we're in trouble. About right here. So I think that we just want to run through our cards once and make sure it's enough to kill. Right? 
I don't know if people realize that. Like, if if people just drop a little bit of armor on us, or even like if they put a lot of armor and they fully block this, because this only this only refreshes the sword intent if this does damage to their raw HP. So if it doesn't, if they block that entire first attack, try peak sword does nothing. It does crap for damage. We'll see if somebody figures that out. Or if everybody's like me and wants to just go wombo. We are playing non like non-ranked mode or anything, too. Okay. They have a lot of health. They actually they live my assault. They lived through the assault here. Ashes of the Phoenix, sure. I they might do it. They did it! They didn't do it! Holy crap. They were the one I've been scared about, for sure. Jeez, dude. Okay. Um... Okay, well, that's... That's nice. It's not crazy nice. It's just, like, more or less plus one. Okay, so we can get the cultivation. Do we... We do that. Let's just, let's do these first, see what we get. Absorb, add one more cultivation. There we go. That's, okay, that's huge. Uh, all right, let's drop this so we can get the final breakthrough here, I think. Cultivation plus six, exchange card chance. Decrease three? I don't know what that means. Spring course tea has got to be like a consumable, but it's probably incredible, right? Can be dragged to any level one card to upgrade it. Oh, that's so fun. Uh, truthfully, I think we upgrade sword defense instead of Flying Fang Sword. Because I think Flying Fang Sword, while it would be good, I think it just increases the flat damage. I'd rather have more, um, more sword intent. When you, whenever you gain hexagram, right? Each stack of hexagram make an additional random effect. That's what the hell. Okay, I have no idea what you're doing, but you are the uh, the wild random guy. Good. A tight a tight win there. A tight win. So that guy had 90 health still. More destiny. Unrestrained sword zero. Whenever. Uh, wait, whenever Unrestrained Sword injured the opponent, add 30%, or er, add HP, add your HP by 30% of the damage? I think it means heal for 30% of the damage. There was, like, definitely a build in there. It was cool. I wish all the, cons if all of the consumption cards had chase, I would do it in a heartbeat. Okay, so now the only thing that Cultivation does is it determines who goes first. Retrigger the last Sword Formation card in the deck. I don't know what Sword Formation is. If it's just... So if it's just like this, then that's obviously incredible. As cool as this is, too, I think we don't have it. Two stacks of guard up. For each stack of guard up, you can resist one HP reduce. Oh, interesting. How much chi do we have? Oh, plenty. What's better? Ashes of the Phoenix... Or this. That's tricky. Exhaust Chi for each... Nah, it's not that good for us right now. One attack times four. Add one Chi. Okay. Yeah. That's just better. 
Like, yes, it does less damage right away, but it is just straight up better. I don't know. The Phoenix is more flavorful. Alright, yeah, four attacks. That's big. Okay. I, I'm terrified of this fool, though. They're at 13 health, but apparently they are scarier than I am. Okay, they're getting lots of defense. Oh my, increase your sword intense stacks by 2x? Oh my. Okay. I use my phoenix. Oh god. Who does their attack first? Thank you! Oh my phoenix! Let's go! <laughs> Please do more than enough damage. Did that kill? Let's go, thank god. They were my worst nightmare. Holy crap. Absorb, upgrade, one level one card in your hand or deck randomly. Oh, that was terrifying. Okay. Uh. Incre incredible! It does five times now! Oh my god! I'll tell you what. I'll do this. What is it upgrade? It upgrades that. Sure. I'm on the fence about if I want to keep this or not. Again, cultivation just determines at this point who, who attacks first. So I could keep going for it just to try and get more. And maybe there's other effects in the game that, um, that help you with that. Oh wait. Oh, it might not have been the same person. I think they're both doing the same build though, aren't they? They're both doing sword intent, but this one I think was doing it better, weren't they? They were getting a multi-strike? No, they used their sword hit already. All right. Oh, here it comes. Get ready. Shippapa! <laughs> uh, obtain immediately. Oh, I can get any of these immediately. I'll take this. Three stacks of guard up is probably better than the ashes. Uh, I don't really need to combine those. I don't need that anymore. Uh, I don't have... I didn't take the cloud hit thing. Sword slash I do have, but it's already upgraded. No, add one more cultivation. Don't need it. Uh, this will work. Good. We in there. We in there. All right, it's top four. Top four ain't bad. That's a win in, uh... <laughs> that's a win in auto battlers. Not copium. I have player names hidden, but I just realize at this point it probably doesn't matter. Either way. This is the random... The random effect guy. Oof. 10% chance to chase, if you say so. All right, here we go. Good. Thank God that hit. Next card triggers twice. Imagine if I got that. Increase your max HP. Okay, that's unhinged. I'm almost like that gets me killed. Injured chase. Uh, if I could make it so this didn't use the sword intent, that'd be really good. Okay. Um. Obviously, it feels like I should slap it right here, but then I'm like, do I die before I get my hit off? Do I have enough chi? I absolutely do. I could ditch this. If I ditch that, then I guess I don't... Do 
Then, then, okay, because otherwise, this, oh, God. Oh, boy. I don't love moving my, uh, my attack down the line one. I'll, I'll tell you what, we have so much health, we have so much health that if it's a problem, I'll change it. Chance to chase. You hit that every single time. For a 10%. Repeat. Okay. See, I'm gonna... Okay. If I Ice Spirit Guard first... Like, just it being one closer would make a big difference. I think we have to. Uh... So how much do we have at this point? Three, seven... 12, we have 12, we have 15. This does a lot already. We could ditch one of these. We could also move Ice Spirit Guard up here. Man. I don't know. It's tricky. It's tricky. I'm happy we did what we as as good as we did for as long as we did. So yeah, blocking three hits. Basically, if they are multi strike, we're screwed. Like that's not going to be that good. If they're not, that's going to be nice. Okay. The question is, am I going to block their sword in ten hit? Oh my god. Oh my god. I think I might. Oh god, we're both charging our lasers. Okay, the guard blocked a good chunk of those. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, I think moving the uh, the block up does help. Minus 39 destiny. Jesus. Light sword? Do I have light sword? I don't know. Kind of just looking for... I have this, and it's not maxed. Two attacks times four is... This is good. This is, like, it, this is good. There was that one thing that was, like... I, okay, I just need to get some cards out of here for the sake of it. Also, you know what? Maybe attacking first is good. Is good enough. We only need one card. If we're cycling, we only need to cycle one card. Right? So I guess we might as well do this way. Oh, it's just me versus you, dude. All right. Let's see if you're going to get all those lucky procs. 10% chance to chase. You got it. So you must have some kind of passive that guarantees it, right? Okay. Block three. Nice. Okay. I think we're fine. No. Oh, wait. Please live. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Scary, scary, scary. Increase your max HP. That's honestly probably the best thing for me to find right now. Silly. There's a real world where we just move this up. Like, there's a very real world, especially now, where we just move that up. Okay. Lol? Lol? I'll keep all that. I mean, it's just me versus you at this point. 
you totally could offset me. If he puts any amount of block on, then we, um, we're going to have a problem. Like, any good amount of block. Okay. Okay. That only hit three times. Oh, my God. That hit, like, the full five last time, even though it's 30%. All right, here we go. 26. Unable to act. I don't know what that exactly does, but there's 31 a million times. Bye, nerd. I win! I win my first game. <laughs> I did the tutorial. It wasn't against anybody. Val experience up 68. Rank experience up 100. We get some kinds of rewards. This is so fun, man. Get an avatar, get Divine Jade, Divine Jade. But yeah, there's new characters, all kinds of different characters you can uh, you can get through just playing it. The game is standard. Um, they all have different unique abilities to them. So, Initial Immortal Fate. So this is like a passive that you get for sure every single game, for example. Um... And then these are basically, every time you level up, you get either the ability to pick your starter perk, which is this one, or another randomized one from the general pool. So it's kind of like a, it's a really clever way to do characters. So you could play a character just because you like the way they look, and you just mostly go for other things. But it's, it's basically, these are all contingency plans. Like when you hit level two, this will always be an option. You don't have to use it every time. When you hit level 3, this will always be an option, but you don't have to do it. It's called a backup Immortal Fate, um, which is a funny sentence there. But good God, this is super good. This is so freaking good. Like, there's like a couple uh, translation things here and there, but generally it's, it's not too bad. If you go back here, I want to make it clear what happens when you launch the game. It's going to look like this. Go up here. Click English. Um... Man, so good. So, 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 so good. I hope they do, like, a couple minor things here and there, like, you know, to clean up the, the you know, the experience for all other, you know, global languages. That'd be cool, but also, like, you know, you can't be mad at it. It's like, it's not, it wasn't developed with English in mind first. Um, but everything that needs to be clear is clear, aside from the sort of, like, um... The three less exchange, whatever they're talking about with that, I guess I haven't parsed. My, It sounds like we get three more rerolls per round, but I'm not sure if that's exactly what that means. Um, additionally, the other characters have different, um, where are they? Different cards. You can see Cloud Spirit set, uh, the Pavilion, Five Elements set. So different characters have different sect sets in addition to the fact that there is different side jobs. These are basically the things it was asking right away. You saw these were showing up. So you kind of get to pick like a, a character, which is your passives. Uh, and then you get to, you know, get to pick your set as well. And then you get to pick your side jobs. So you really get like a little bit of control over it, which is quite, quite nice. Um, but alas... I, I really, like, I love it. I think this game is actually fantastic. It's a step forward for the auto-battler genre, in my honest opinion. It feels like it's the next thing to take on after you feel like, you know, I love Super Auto Pets. Give me something a little bit, you know, spicy with the, the card mechanics, everything like that. I think that this could get theoretically pretty wild. I'm sure it could. Um, but less. Like, everything we saw today, it got kind of spicy, and we were dealing with probably the most vanilla of vanilla character and uh, item combos that you could possibly have. And it still got spicy. I still, it still got spicy. Holy mole. Link at the top of the description. Pick the game up for yourself. Uh, highly recommended. I, uh, I really enjoy it. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time, though. Bye!